it's a simple counter app you must have seen it in one of you know the projects online and when you click on add it increases the number right you click on reset it sets it back to zero and you click on subtract it you know reduces the number but there's a twist to this one right whenever you click on add when it's a positive number like one upwards the color of the number here is yellow okay i just chose yellow when you click on reset when it's at zero the color becomes white and when you click on subtract the color changes to uh, red when it's in the negative so that's uh just a little twist to our counter app all right so that's the project we're going to build in this one see you in the next video all right so for the very first project right i'm going to walk you through creating the um you know project itself so you remember we created the react projects folder so let me just open that up and uh, yeah this is it so i'm going to create an empty folder a new folder and i'm just going to call this counter hyphen app like so and then i'll hit enter so the folder should be created and then i will right click and click on git bash here to open my git terminal right so from the git terminal let me increase the font size i'll just access one of the previous commands so i'll press upward arrow and it will just show me the last set of commands i typed from git terminal so i would look for the this one so this is git clone and remember that repository we talked about the starter react starter templates uh yeah that repository this is the link and then dot forward slash to install that repository within this counter app folder we just created so i'll go ahead and hit enter and it should clone you know the starter project or the starter template inside of the counter app folder which is what we opened here and yeah so it's done so i'll go ahead and open this so i'll say code and dots and i'll hit enter and it should open up visual studio code on this particular counter app so it has opened it up in another screen so let me just drag that in here yeah so this is it great all right now there are two things we need to do the first is to install node modules so i'll open my terminal new terminal and I would actually just press upward arrow to access my last few commands so the command i'm interested in is npm install so i'll go ahead and hit enter such that the node modules will be installed inside of this folder so of course you know i need to pause that because if you've installed react uh, before you know it takes some time so i'm going to pause this and wait for it to complete so the node modules have installed so what we then need to do now is to run the npm start so if i do that it should open up um, the program the dev server in this browser here but remember i already have something running on localhost 3000 so i'm, I'm probably going to get a notification here that you know tells me that and that i need to run it on localhost 3001 okay that's probably something i expect already okay so you see here would you like to run the app on another port instead that's because i'm running something on localhost 3000 so all i just need to do is press y which stands for yes and it should open up on a new port and as you can see we have localhost 3001 yeah so great so i think we are good to go at this point so let's get started now i should probably say that i went through this process for the first app we're building just to show you how subsequent uh, apps we're going to build would go so but subsequently i'm not going to show you i'm not going to waste time you know setting up the app i'm just going to set it up and we're going to you know start building so you're going to have the responsibility to set it up yourself because you've seen the procedure and how it was done in the first project all right great so we have our hello world now let's uh, actually get started so what i'm going to do is i'll open my source folder and i'll go to app.js so this app.js is what is uh displayed here and i think i'm probably just going to shift this a bit great so i'm 
the way we're going to structure it is we're going to do markup then we're going to style then we're going to do logic so we're going to break all the projects into at least three videos depending on how long you know the project is so i'll get rid of the hello world you see here and basically i'm just going to change this to a section and it's going to have a class name of uh counter section so i'll just say counter hyphen sec just to shorten it and inside of it let's have a container a div with a class of container and a modifier class of counter okay so like so then the first thing we have actually I, I like to look at the project i'm building so the first thing we have inside of this div is a h1 um so let's add the h1 here and that h1 is going to say react counter app sorry this should be react counter app like so then below that we are gonna have uh a simple paragraph i think so just a simple paragraph that would have a number inside of it so here i'm just going to put zero initially like so then lastly we're going to have a button now that button is eventually going to become a component but for now i'm just going to create a regular button so you see how everything actually like evolves so here I would see I'll create a div with a class of button like so okay it's, it's actually going to be buttons because we have three of them so div with a class of buttons and here I'm just going to create uh, three buttons or oh, you know what so I'm just going to create regular buttons so I'll come here I'll say button like so and here we're going to say subtract so subtract is first and let's just duplicate these guys three times and this one will say reset and i think i used an exclamation mark in front of it like so then this one will say add so add great so as far as the markup goes this is what we need or the jsx actually it's jsx in react so i'll just go ahead and save that and let's just see what we have here all right so this is basically what the project uh markup looks like so in the next one we're going to now work towards making it look exactly like this all right all right now let's add some styling to make this guy look like this okay so let's come here and we have app.scss that is linked to this guy this app's uh, js file so i'll go there and the first uh, point we have here is the counter section the section class so i'll just come here i'll say dot counter section and let's just quickly give it a height so height is going to be set to 100% of the viewport height and let's set the background color to we're going to use our variable color and we're just going to use the light sorry the dark blue so dark I think blue like so and of course I want to make the counter so I'll just say dot counter and you notice here that I kind of did nesting this is nesting in um scss or sas so for nesting here i'll just set the background color sorry for the counter class which is this main div that holds the counter itself i'll set the background color to a variable color and i'm just going to use light blue so light hyphen blue then i'll set the mean width to 450 pixels so 450 px and of course i'll just give it some padding of 2 rem then i'll save and let's see if that takes effect great so it actually does take effect um let's add some styles for this count itself um so i'll just come inside here i'll say dot count 
which is the number you see here so first off we want to make it a little bit you know wide so i'll give it a width of 4m so width of 4m and of course it's going to have the same height so height same 4m then we're going to give it a border of two pixels solid uh, and white so let's just do hash fff then of course we're going to give it a border radius to make it a circle of 50 percent if you save that that will turn uh this should be oh i've not set the <laughs> class name yet um this is going to be somehow but anyway let's just go to app.js and work from app.js down to app scss so from the top here this section with a class name of counter section let's add some modifier utility classes so first off i want to center it so i'll just do my dash dash which is for my utility class and i'll say flex hyphen center remember the utility class is supposed to help us write less code so you see by just placing um, adding this flex center we've centered this uh counter um div okay then for the this counter area here we want to make this box look like a card so um i'm just going to say card okay then then let's go ahead and center everything inside of this guy so i have a utility class for that and it's called center all so center hyphen all if you save that pff, everything goes to the center then for this uh, h1 um, let's give it let's change the color so let me see if i can do that from here by just saying text light oh sorry it needs to be inside here so dash dash text hyphen light save that and see if that changes the color okay so it doesn't change the color so I need to put it inside of the h1 itself so let's add a class name on the h1 and the class name is just going to be text light and save and voila okay so for the paragraph um, which is this guy you see here let's give it a class name of count so count and save and voila so you see we have some of the styles that we're already implementing uh previously so but um also let's just do some things for the button so aside giving it this class name of count let's add some margin around it so um margin on the top and bottom that's m y so let's specify that it's a utility class so you see we've added some spacing around it so let me just make it m y to increase the uh margin okay all right then for the button we just need to add our class name um of btn so dash dash btn let's save and see what the first one looks like okay so you see what it's uh made the button um so but the first button i think it's uh red so it has a button danger let me just confirm so red white and green great so here i will not just say btn i'll say dash dash btn then i'll say btn hyphen danger okay then let me just copy all of that Control c and then i'll apply it to the next two buttons like so and paste that in then i'll just change the this one out the second button which is the reset button just is going to have only the button class but the last one is going to have button success instead of button danger so success that's like green and save let's see what we get okay so you see so we have the three buttons all right great so what we need to do now is um on the div with a class of buttons plural we just need to uh add some style to make this you know display side by side 
so let's just go ahead and you know finish up this um circle here so i'll go to my app css and the count we are border radius of 50 percent well let's add some padding so i'm going to do a padding of 4m 4m and let me also do the display set the display to flex so flex i'm going to do justify uh, content center then also align item center if you save that what's going to happen is that it will center everything inside here and of course the um what's it called the text is too small so let me just actually do it from here right i think i did it from the text itself from this paragraph here class name of count so let me actually just do it from here so i'll just set the text to md which is medium and i'll set the color so text it's a utility class so two dashes and then i'll say text hyphen light i think that's what i did i'll save that and yeah so voila that's what we have and that's fine then the last thing we probably need to do is just the buttons so let me just come down here and say dot buttons and just one style we're going to add here is display flex and save and that's it so we have the three buttons and everything looks uh, very similar to what we have here okay so maybe this 450 i think maybe we can just do 400 so that it's All right, so that's basically it for this project. So in the next one, we're now going to add the logic for the counter app. All right, see you there. Now let's add the logic for the project. So the first thing we want to do is let's go to app.js and let's import use state from React. So I'm going to say, uh, I think I have, I have a shortcut for that. Yeah, great. So I am you import use state from React and let's just do that quickly then let's create a state so i'll say use state and i think it's this one so the name of this state is going to i'll call count uh, that should be count and i'm going to capitalize the set count so the c is going to be capitalized and then i'm going to set my initial count to zero that's my initial count okay great so the next thing i will do is i would inside of this paragraph here uh where is my paragraph yeah this paragraph here where i set you know the zero i'm going to replace this with count instead so i'll come here and then i'll say count that i'll put the count state there and of course it won't change anything because count is set to zero however if we change count here now for example to five and save well we should get five here great i'm sure you get the gist so i'll change that back to zero now what do we really want to do well we want it such that when you click on this button something will happen so let's start from the subtract button so i'll come to my first button which is this guy to subtract and i'm going to add an on click so i'll add an on click uh event listener and i'll set it to call a function i'll say handle subtract that will be the name of the function so i'll copy that and i'll just come below my count and i'll create an arrow function and the name of that function is going to be same so handle subtract and basically what we want to do is we want to use the setter function so set count and i'm going to say that i want it to be the current count minus one okay i'll go ahead and save that and let's actually test it out and see if it works so i'll go ahead and click on this guy and as you can see it goes to minus one of course the other two buttons are not actually doing anything yet so let's um solve that so the second button is the reset button i am going to add an on click here so i'll say on click and i will see handle 
reset and while i'm here let me actually just add the unclick for this third one so unclick and it's going to be handle add handle add like so so first off let's do the handle reset and i'll copy that and let's come up here by the way i can actually just do write the function in line but i prefer to just separate things out um, starting out in the beginning of the project so let me duplicate this guy twice and i'll just change the name of this guy here to handle reset and here what we basically want is we want to set the count back to zero okay then this one we're going to see handle add so handle add and basically we're just going to change this to plus one so the current count plus one if we go ahead and save then we should have a fully functional app so let me actually just refresh it so it goes back to zero so subtract reset back to zero and add everything works great now but one of the things we saw in the main project is that when you subtract when it's in the negative it becomes red when you add it becomes yellow so let's uh, actually do that now so what i'm going to do is just below my functions here i would create a variable i'll say let's color let's color and i'll set it to be equal to hash fff so let's put it in a string in quotes rather fff and then i'll just you know i don't actually need to close it but then if i save um my visual studio code will still add the code so let's just have it there now let's add an if else statement so i'll say if what's the condition i'll say if count is greater than or equal to one in other words if the count is in the positive i want to set the color to yellow so i would say color should be equal to uh, let's open this guy here yellow great then here i'll say else if because there are three conditions so else if and what's the condition here i want to see if it's in the negative so i'll say if count count is less than zero then i want to set the color to be equal to red okay i hope you are following then of course the last condition else i'll just set the color to be equal to white great so this logic is what is going to help us determine the color of our you know count here so let's go to our original project but how do we implement this uh, functionality inside of this project well let's come here to the count this paragraph that holds our count and i'm going to add a class name sorry i'm going to add an inline style sorry about that so here uh, i'll just come here and say style and i'll set it to be equal to two curly braces remember when you are um adding an inline style in react it's considered like you're adding an object so it's going to take an object literal uh, syntax so here the way i'm going to do that is i'm going to say the color to and i'll just reference this color variable here so i'll just say color so ideally i should probably if i wanted to maybe set it to let's just say uh, red for example i would have needed to put it in quotes right because so this thing inside here looks like an object right but because i'm referencing a variable that's why i'm setting it as color all right yeah so let's go ahead and save and see what we're doing so you see automatically this changed to yellow and it's not actually bold i think i can add one more stuff here to make it bold i think it's let's set the font width to bold and save yeah so it's a little bit bolder so if you reset the color is set to white if you subtract it's set to red if you add if you're in the positive it's set to yellow 
great so this is the part of the code that handles that functionality all right so the last thing we probably need to do is we want to um these buttons you see here that we added uh by just adding you know the uh button tags what i want to do is i want to create a button component right and use the button component inside of the project so i'm going to do that in the next video see you there